hello. Oh, hello. Sorry, uh, uh, my name's Ross. I'm uh, the uh, one of the, over the, the overseers for Chippenham Congregation. Oh, right. Great. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I hope I'm not calling too early at 8, 8.30. No, that's fine. How can I help? Th thank you. Yes, I'm reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever, which I downloaded. I've been reading it since, you know, when we were in the lockdown. OK. Um, I'm very puzzled by one or two comments, and perhaps somebody could help if that's possible. Um page 28 the summary for lesson six i could read all of lesson six but I, I basically you know i think it's pretty 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 good um the summary says jehovah created the universe and all life which of course i would agree jehovah is the creator yes yes but when you go to the new testament um the bible is quite emphatic that the father creates through the son so i was i was kind of puzzled i mean 1 Corinthians 8, 6 would be a good verse. If I could just read it briefly. Um, this puzzled me. <clears throat> it talks about false gods, idols, in the preceding five verses. And then it contrasts the false gods, the idols, in verse 6. Yet for us there is only one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we for him. And one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and through whom we live. So creation is, is of the Father, it's ek, it's out of the Father, and it's died it's through the Son. So right. I'm kind of puzzled. Thank you. That's okay. Now, um, obviously, I, I do apologise, because I'm, I'm obviously working, um, obviously because it's Monday, I'm actually working from home at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and I've, well, I've just obviously the phone, the phone I've got, I've, it's yes. got very, very little power left on it. So I do apologise. Yes. So what I was going to ask was, would it be okay if I was to take a name and a contact number from you? Yes. And then what I can do is I can arrange for um, somebody to give you a call and, um, you know, and go through that with you. Is that because you've raised some very, very interesting good questions there yes. and, and of course we would, we would love to sort of help you come to an understanding of that yes yes is, sure is that accept is that acceptable oh, with you? oh yes thank you my 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 name is robert skinner uh, has the number come up on your mobile phone i think it probably yes, has I've got that's that. fine is that's that, fine is that um, okay to use that? Yes, I can normally not speak on Mondays or Thursdays. I've got a little bit of time at the moment, which is why I rang. Right. But normally Mondays and Thursdays are out. Don't voicemail me because I don't read them. If you want to contact me, yeah. you text me, giving me plenty of notice. Because okay, I'm no I'm problem. very very busy, so I'm here, there, and everywhere. So you know you've got to really text me like a day in advance and say, look, such and such a time is this convenient and. And I can always text you back if it's not, but I, I can always jiggle some appointments quite easily. Okay, um, no problem at in. all. Because we, what we, you know, what we, the, the sort of options that we can do, obviously, you, you, you know, is uh, if, if you like, because um, uh, we, we, obviously, we can talk over, you know, somebody can talk to you over the phone, or we can arrange because um, obviously, we, one thing we did, obviously, you know, we can visit people at the moment because of um, obviously the COVID. Um, yeah restrictions in place but we can arrange like a, a zoom call if that helps i can well. zoom so zoom so is whatever fine. whatever would be easiest for you yeah. we, we can help you help you um come to an understanding yes. of that. phoning that okay? phoning or or zooming is fine i've got another question on lesson 33 could i just point it out to you yeah. and just maybe you could yeah. just add that it's page 137 it's lesson 33 what the kingdom will accomplish and it's paragraph three. It's only the first three lines. It's talking about the resurrection after Armageddon. After okay. the wicked are destroyed, Jesus will rule as king for a thousand years. During that time, he and his 144,000 co-rulers will help humans on earth to become perfect and sinless. Yeah. Right. Why does Jesus need help making people perfect and sinless? Surely he's perfectly capable of doing that on his own without any help. I know the Pope yep. says that he and his priests help Jesus to forgive people of their sins, but I believe Jesus does, does that on his own without the help of anyone, including me or you. No, and, and that is a very, very good question. And I, and I will say, um, uh, Robert, that it's, it, it's, it's one of those answers that uh, you, we would need to sort of show you other passages to make it link together, if that makes sense, and to understand why that, why that statement has been has been made um and there is a there is a, a very plausible uh, explanation which can be backed up through through sort of scriptural references as well so you um, it, it, it's also one I, I i could give a very very uh, you know quick give me a brief overview now because i'd like to know how 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 do 
the 140 to 4,000 help to forgive other human beings, that, well, people of their sins? How did the 144,000 do that? Yeah, so, so basically what it is is, uh, you know, uh, the, the kingdom the kingdom uh, that we pray for, you know, in uh, the, the, the Lord's Prayer, as, as yeah. ones would call it in Matthew 6, um, that kingdom arrangement is set up by uh, Christ Jesus, and with him he has what's called co-rulers, um, which will make, which are well, 144,000, which come from, um, you, you know, a, a, a across the world. Um, yeah. uh, you, you know, and obviously there, there's a, you know, there's, the scriptures that can back that up, uh, and basically that thousand-year reign is where Jesus, you know, will with that arrangement um, with the hundred forty-four thousand will restore everything back to what basically Adam and Eve had lost in the Garden of Eden, and then at the end of the thousand years he will then present everything back to his Father and just say to you know to Jehovah, here you go, Jehovah, everything is back to as it was. Um, and you, you know it's it's back to you you know it, that is literally in the simplistic way of putting it um but obviously there's there's a deeper understanding in there which obviously right. I, I i haven't got as i was just saying cause i'm obviously working at the moment i yes. haven't got the, the full time to go through that which is where <coughs> somebody would help you understand that in more in more detail um, yes, you you do teach. I've read somewhere that the hundred and forty four thousand, when they're resurrected, it, they become uh, non human spirit creatures. They're no longer human. That's right. Yes. So they they take on because obviously with with Jehovah's Witnesses, we believe that there are two hopes: um, those that have a heavenly hope, I know, um, which which make up the hundred forty four thousand. I know. And then there's the great crowd. Yes. yes. So w the, where, where does the Bible say? that anyone other than Jesus will forgive us of our sins? Where does it, the Bible say anywhere that an angel or a non-human spirit creature or a human being will forgive us of our sins? I've, I've asked Catholic priests that. You know, where yeah. does the Bible say that I have to go to another man, a Catholic priest, who can forgive me of my sins? Which which Bible verse says that? And they, they struggle to show me a verse from the Bible. Can you show me a Bible verse? I can't off the top of my head, but right. I, what, like I said, what I will do, uh, Robert, is I will I, I will put you in contact. Right. Okay. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm very limited on time. Yeah. So okay. I, thank I, you. I sort of devote more time to you. Thank you very much indeed. That's lovely. Uh, thank you. I will, do, I, I will make contact, and then we'll get somebody to 